When I showed up at my customer's house, he said the main priority was the smoothie that had spilled and baked into the carpet in the back. And I just had to laugh when I saw it, but I knew the first thing I was going to have to do is get one of my plastic razor blades. And as you can see here, there's one corner where it was still kind of squishy and the rest was just super hard. And it was actually quite a battle. Sorry, my hand kind of gets in the way here. But I had to take the razor blade and just try to slide it underneath the fibers of the carpet and the, st and the actual smoothie itself. I'm not sure what kind of smoothie this was, but I am glad that it was so hardened. It was almost like fruit leather. Well, I guess the squishy side was like fruit leather, but I'm glad it was it was hard and relatively easy to, to come up and not moldy and embedded into the carpet. So that was a plus. When I One of the first things I saw when I saw this uh, this vehicle was that it is an older car and I always get a little bit worried when I see older cars because oftentimes my customers their expectations are that with the older car you can make it look like a new car which is obviously not the case for one older cars are just built differently they're not meant to be cleaned as well as well as the newer cars nowadays plus you can't fix wear and tear well I can't fix wear and tear you know if you're a upholsterer or something you might be able to do that but that is not what I am. I just clean, so if it's dirt, I can clean it. But with that said, there's also a lot of wear and tear for a vehicle that's this old. So as you see here, this is starting to just pull up quite a bit, and I was able to find out a good system. I was a little nervous to start the, the wet side still, but that didn't seem to be a problem either. And so I just went, took a few minutes to do that, vacuuming up the crumbs or the remnants as they as they were able to pull up and then i knew obviously i was going to have to extract the whole thing as well and these again because this was an older car this carpet was rather thick and i did a car the next day which was even older and even thicker and as we're heading into winter these cars take a long time to dry normally in the summer when i uh, extract the seats or the floor or whatever Normally it's all dry by the time I finish because in the summer, especially during the peak months, it hits 90, 100 degrees. In the winter, here we are in November, and it's not even cold. You know, it's about 40, 50, something like that. But these are taking considerably longer to dry, so I have to pull out my, my blower, my dryer. So as you see, I got that all finished up there, and then it is time for me to pull out my extractor. And sorry if, let me know if you think that, I mean, this is just my phone on a little tripod that I have set up. It's difficult for me to find what, where the best place to place the camera is because sometimes my hand is just in the way like earlier or, you know, because it's difficult because I have to make sure it's in a spot where you can actually see the extractor head in, in my extracting videos. But here I am, of course, applying my solution like I always do. And I'm going to grab the drill brush to agitate that. And we're going to extract that to start getting that you know taken out you can see there's kind of a chunk there I'll make sure to hit that later for sure for example in this case you can't really see what's coming out of the extractor so just hold tight for a minute before I flip it over to the other side and you'll be able to see get a better uh, well you can see that but that's not what I was referring to uh, but you hopefully you can see a little bit as uh, how tricky it can be sometimes to position the camera and especially when I'm on a job because I'm trying to get it done quick because I got somewhere else to be and I'm trying to you know put my energy and effort into the service that the customer is getting in less so much into this so there i am cleaning that out with the steamer and as you can see this has come out extremely well especially concerning the or considering rather that it was a <laughs> smoothie that had just spilt in the back of his seat and had just baked in so when he when he originally said that i was kind of bracing myself for a kind of a dog diarrhea like that other video that i did and it was it was rather similar. If you if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it was similar because I did use the plastic razor blade and kind of just the same strategy. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So now you'll see as I extract because I have I'm not going to do just that one part. I have to do the whole floor. So I got to spray this, you know, my solution on there, agitate it, and then uh, use the extractor to pull out all the stuff. And on this one, you, there were some pretty gnarly, you know, yucky stuff that I pulled out. Let's call it. And so. This is quite, you know, one of the most satisfying things that I do. I had to make sure to get that little upper part up there because there were some stains. But like I said, because this was an older car, there I expected it to be pretty bad, but the carpet was actually pretty, it wasn't bad. And it came out pretty well. And so uh, I'm going a little quick there. If you can't tell, I sped this video up just a little bit, but here we are. And of course, my thing falls over. Got to fix it. Doopy doopy doop. 
and yeah so let me know what you think of this video do you like the voiceover do you not like to hear my beautiful voice do you prefer music do you prefer the sounds of the machines let me know what you guys think and be sure to check out my other videos like i said before if you haven't seen the video where i had to clean dog diarrhea i'll link that one up go check that one out because that one's pretty nasty uh that's an understatement that one was very nasty or just check out my other videos let me know what kinds of videos you guys like and i'll make sure to do it for you thanks a lot to all of my recent subscribers uh i had a, a big surge lately and so thanks for coming along for the ride